Okay, I'll show you how to uh, install this Google Nest to like a standard, kind of standard um, old thermostat panel. This is what I have. But the important thing is the cables you have. So I have the uh, yellow cable comes to the Y connector and the white cable comes to the O connector and the green cable comes to the G connector. So it's a like green uh, and uh, the yellow goes to white as well connector on top and the red goes to RH. Uh, so if you have such a uh, setup, uh, doesn't matter actually how it is, as long as you just take a note of, uh, of uh, what uh, uh, letters the cables go, uh, that's, that's all that matters. At first, you're gonna unscrew, you're gonna take the panel out. So I actually did it, actually let me, Remove the cables. There's a jumper cable outside. So took it out before the video starts. But okay, I took everything out. Here you go, that's unpainted surface. That's gonna be a problem. So these are the cables now. Let's grab the uh let's grab this one first. So we are going to yeah. You can definitely use the background plate too, you can buy, that's an additional thing. But the leveler is gonna come top. And so that's where I'm gonna install so that I can paint it later. Uh, that's a good setup. So I'll keep going the video after this. After labeling the cables and uh, uh, screwing the base plate uh, uh, to the wall, uh, now we're gonna uh, actually uh, run the application, Google uh, app application. It's actually you you run it before this this step. Actually, it tells you what to do, what not to do, or uh, tells you if it's compatible or not. But in this case, you, in this video, you're not seeing it because I specifically show you uh, my situation, my case. Uh, so if you have uh, like this one, four cables, uh, green, red, yellow, and white, um, as you see, like three of them blue and one of them uh, white, uh, which is actually saying, I don't know if you're seeing it here, but it says O, uh, B, and with a star on it. So that is the cooler that is running the cooler. That's what actually, when I installed the downstairs thermostat, I had a problem when I put the white cable to the uh, W, it just didn't work. It was only heating it. In either case, hot or cold, it was always heating it. Uh, I, then I figured out that the white cable should go to OB in, in, in our cases, in this case. So uh, it, it's, it's pre I'm pretty confident on that one right now, the downstairs uh, thermostat works fine. So you're gonna label uh, G, G, uh, Y is, uh, the yellow is gonna be Y1, and red is gonna be uh, uh, R, and the white is gonna be OB. And these are important because that's where you're gonna be, um, uh, installing the cables. OB is right here in the center and uh, G is right here and red is gonna be in the middle in here and on the left side you're gonna put the Y on the top and uh, it's pretty much it. It's gonna be only one cable on the top, this one, Y and G is gonna be coming up here and R is gonna be coming up here and OB is right here. So the OB is the cooler, Y is the uh, the heater, uh, green is the fan, and the R is the power. It just poop, supplies power. I noticed that on my upstairs, uh, upstairs uh, the, uh, the unit, 
the power is more than the downstairs unit. Downstairs unit is a little like older one than the upstairs, but I noticed that this one has a better power, which Google thermostat actually um, needs a power to charge the batteries inside the, the Google Nest. Uh, so that, that is important. If you have, if you don't have this power supply and cable, um, I think there's a connector that you can get free from Google. They, they, you don't pay anything. You just, I think it's the first one is free. Uh, but in my case, I didn't need it. I got one actually free, but I didn't use it uh, because I have power. All right, now let's put the green cable to the green connector. I mean, while I'm holding the phone, doing this a little hard, but bear with me. Okay, now when you actually inserted it, you'll notice that the tab here goes down, which is normal. You don't have any additional thing. This is pretty much stabilized it. It just locks it as soon as you push it in. So you don't have to do anything else. Now, I'm gonna put the red at the end. So I'll put it aside. Now let's put the, uh, the again, this green was fan. Uh, on the top right corner and now I'm gonna put the yellow which is the heater to this hole I just push it in firmly and that is in and the tab is down that is good and now let's do the white cable which is OB in our case again don't forget this says going to be OB not white this one I mean, you might think that, hey, it's a white cable goes to white, but it is not. It is OB, of course, in my case, for my unit. This part is important. So these, uh, I, I don't know if you see it, but those letterings over there are important. So in my case, the, the red was RH, white was O, uh, green was G, and yellow was uh, Y. Uh, and this, these are the information you're going to be entering uh, when Google, Google app, a uh, home app asks you. And uh, when you enter it, it will either tell you that your unit is compatible or not. But uh, so if this is the, if this is the, the, the your old, old thermostat, exactly mine in terms of letters, then you're going to click uh, when you select the uh, the check the radio boxes or check boxes, I believe I think it's a radio buttons. Uh, when you click, uh, you're gonna select uh, the letter O, which is the lower group, and the on the top group, uh, you are going to select R H, uh, G, and Y. So you're going to select three on the top I'm talking about the home app Google home app uh, when it is asked uh, the cable let the, the letters so the top is going to be RH G and yellow one and the, the the lower group you're going to select only O even though you're you're going to put it on OB because there is no such option OB you're going to select all when you select these four and click next it's gonna go through it's, it's not gonna tell you that it's it's not compatible it will tell you it's compatible and you're gonna keep doing the progress uh, so let's just put the red now to okay red is on this side I'm sorry let's put it on this the reason that I put the red at the end, even though it's still the empty base plate, it's always put the power cable at the end. Now, it's all set. Uh, we have uh, green goes to G, red goes to R, white goes to OB, and yellow goes to Y. And this one is done. Now, uh, I'm going to actually install the... Uh, uh, at this point, actually, I can go ahead and uh, install the uh, Google Nest thing. But before I do that, there is this 
seal that uh, blocks the power. So you gotta take this plastic thing so that this will actually start running. Okay, as you see, or oh, you, you can see me as well. Okay, now it says you can continue, I don't know different languages, but it is saying that you can start the installation process. Uh, since we already scanned the, the code uh, an early stages of uh, home app installation guide and now I can actually install it in here it's just gonna wait for uh, Google home app to process now at this point I have to stop the video and to install the app uh, all I need to do is just click next 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 and then at some certain point, the app is gonna ask me, uh, the app is gonna ask me, uh, uh, put the, the Google Nest on the base plate, and then it will start installation.
All right, after the installation, uh, I went through the steps uh, in the Google Home app and uh, I took some pictures, you know, like on every step and I'm going to edit at the end of this video for you to, uh, uh, you know, follow that one. Uh, and Google Nest doesn't have any front button or any sensing in the front. It's everything is on the side. You like uh, swipe your hand up and down and tap to do the, you know, to do the selections. Uh, so it's pretty much, it's working this way. So I will show you. It's pretty much uh, in, in the, 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 the front of the video. All you need to do is the, the right cables to right uh, connectors and and there's one more thing I need to tell you that at some certain point Google app is asking you uh, to by the way I set the uh, uh, I'm testing the cooler uh, it's kind of I'm still having a hard time to you know run that but right now it's it's showing 80 that, that I set the cooler 80 and indoor temperature is 81 I'm just testing this if it's gonna stop uh, it should stop because the downstairs work fine and the heater set 69 but I'm gonna test the heater later I'm gonna increase it to 80 to test it okay it is indoor is 80 right now and uh, temperature is 80 as well uh, I believe that the temperature uh, indoor should be 79 uh, for unit to stop but I'm gonna kind of increase it to make it stop if I can that is good oh not that way now I made it 81 it turned to actually like uh, disabled so uh, this should stop my unit my unit is uh, slowly stopping because it's using the cool layer to circulate a little bit more but I can definitely see the sound change and you can hear it probably so it is working and uh, so the heater should be working fine too. I'm not gonna include that in this video.